everybody, Ann Kloss Farley here. Today I'm going to present a small video about how you can make a costume at home. Center Theatre Group has asked me to do a piece that I'm inspired by and today it's Midsummer's Night's Dream and we're going to do Puck. Um, I'm going to set it in a clown world of fairies and um, it's going to be a party. Come on in. I'm going to do tape, some duct tape. I'm going to do some clear tape, um, glue, and um, anything else I can find. Let's see what we're going to do now. Some of my favorite things that I found in my shop today, birthday present tissue. Um, I've got this really cool wig that my kids made when they were little, um, made out of ribbon, and I think we're going to repurpose it. What they did is hot glued it to a bandana and a headband so that would fit. It was a really sweet birthday present that my kids made. Um, I've got some white chamois I found in an old bin. I've got a party decoration that I'm going to put together. I've got some newspaper on the floor. I've got some pipe cleaners. I've got some little balls. I've got a box of socks. I've got a bin of hankies and a bunch of other really crazy things. And then we're going to whip it up into a really cool spring fairy. Woohoo! Let the magic begin! I think I'm going to put a mohawk on this bub. So um, I'm going to take a look at this and uh, you'll see in a minute what it comes out to be. party favor and we are going to use it as Puck's chest plate and um, because it represents the flower in which he puts on the lover's eyes in this in this play and so putting it up front gives us a very whimsical feeling towards you know what our character is all about and what he does. So I found some trusty bubble wrap you can find this um, in you know anybody's office home office. So I'm going to use this as our base um, to cover his chest and I'm going to tape it together.
silly things. So sometimes people plan on things being too serious and I like the unexpected. And for me, you know, this represents that the earth is always living and that the trees have eyes. And I like the idea that <laughs> Buck has help from friends. Sorry, I don't want to hurt you. But um, we'll take away that glue in a little bit. But I love the idea of helpful little critters and putting them on his arms is really fun. There's nothing better than googly eyes. So I got a box of scarves and um, I think I have probably 80 of these and um, I decided that um, I'm going to make a skirt out of these, you know, of these handkerchiefs. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put them in the elastic band of Vice's pants so that they hang down and then we're going to be able to reuse this too. So I'm thinking about, since the skirt is all nice and finished and we used about 25 hankies, um, I'm going to take Vice's sweats and I'm going to shove them up so we don't see his uh, legs covered. I like to make a big mess in my shop when I'm working. I've got tape everywhere and glue everywhere. And I like to just come up with things on the fly. I believe that there is no mistakes to art. So I urge you to make a lot of mistakes. I'm so grateful that I get to play at home and make crazy things. And I urge you to do that too. So have fun. Get your junk out. Where's the party? I want to free my soul. Where's the party? I want to lose control.